Good morning, Entropians. Julian McBean here, and it's the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least it's the moment I have been grinding for. It's time to begin the next stage of the epic challenge. So I'm going to grab out all of the bone in meat, and I can't remember when I last did an epic fap challenge um, vid, but I'm pretty sure I've been working on this part for a month. So. When they say epic challenge, they mean epic challenge. So let's go talk to the medical officer. There he is, Oriandus. Orandus. Orandius. Good lord. You'd never you'd never think that I took Latin in high school for like four years. Okay. So we are on stage. Two, I believe. Hi, just wanted to let you know that this mission requires you to have 75 bone in meat in your inventory and if completed, gear up the new FAP stage one. Do you have that many on you and have that mission completed? Yes, I have the required bone in meat. Welcome back. I would really like you to help uh, to help you out and get uh, and get two started, get you started on being able to earn a really cool new first aid pack. But we need one more thing. Bone and meat, about 75. Can you get those for me? Oh, okay. I have to hand it over. That makes sense. Now, the question is... That, okay, good. He did He did give me back the rest. Okay, now we can get started. Stage three. Great, glad you're back. With these bones and bone and meat, I'll be able to start... I get to work on the refurbished SI Heart Rank 1. First, you got to go deal with 250 weak panleons. Can you do that? I'm in. Okay, so weak panleons, I think, are the ones that are just outside the starter area. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was hunting them last night because I was grinding up my short blade skill because my short blade skills are non-existent. <laughs> um, I popped one of the the skill pills and I think that my short blade skill from, went from like 410 to 480 that, that's how low my that's how low my short blade skills are I, I still haven't reached four digits so okay 250 panley on weeks so with that in mind I am actually going to do the exact same thing grab four short blades which is exactly what I had last night. And we're going to quickly equip them. Make sure I didn't screw anything up, okay. Um, here we go. For I want it in my hotkeys. No, no, I said, oh, you know what? For some reason it didn't give me the, there we go. You know, that has to be really irritating. Every time you pop open the, um, hey, I want to change something, it changes which key binding I'm on. I don't know why that happens. Uh, maybe I should process that as a bug report. I'm, I'm semi-active on the Sirene forums, and I know it's not endemic to Sirene. It's been doing that since the update to the new interface. And I mean... It's not a huge deal, but it is an irritation. And it's a bigger irritation when you're trying to swap weapons around while fighting. So hopefully that's something that Mindark corrects here in the near future. So the weak panleons should be these here. Yes, weak panleons. And so the one thing you just want to keep an eye on is that behind you are the dusters. There is this nice... Uh, kind of no man's land area that you can fight in or that you can retreat to but just keep in mind if you retreat too far you're going to end up well covered in dusters and dusters do damage that requires dodge not evade because they carry guns even though they don't look like they carry guns so just be cognizant of that but these guys aren't a huge deal. As you can see, I'm pretty much going to just rely on my skills. Uh, last night, I went two hours uh, hunting these guys, and I think I had to heal twice the whole time. And instead of... 
I could have just waited it out, but I was... I wasn't interested in waiting it out, and maybe I should have, but I'm okay with it. No. I'm not gonna bitch about a couple of pack in ammo going to using my healing skill, because it's still... Using those healing skills still skills up my healing ability. And at this point, I should be almost ready to go to a level 6 um, regen chip. So that's good. I'm going to try not to get too deep into this pack because I have been surrounded here before and that's not necessarily the brightest idea. I always wonder, is that the sun or is that one of the, the Imperial fortifications in the distance there? I'm pretty sure that's a fortification. It's, it's pretty dark out right now. So yeah. I mean, I this this doesn't bother me. Killing 250 weak pan panleons isn't going to take much time when compared to waiting for the drop rate on the bone and meat. Um, I don't even know how much ammo I cycled hunting those crabs, the, uh, the Tide Claws. And maybe I should have just gone after the level 3 Tide Claws. I couldn't find... I know that they're there, but by the time I, was, I had found a reliable level 3 only spawn area that didn't have stronger mobs in it, I was already 90% of the way through. Uh, I did find... The place you actually want to hunt Tide Claws, because I believe they're all level 3 there, are actually in the jungle. There's a swamp here, and you just have to be careful. There are swamp workers, but you can avoid them pretty easy. But they're in this region here, not on the ice plane. I think there is an area on the ice plane they were too, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Maybe I'll do a just kind of a review of areas, and we can double check that, because it's been a minute. Uh, the other night I went exploring, and that's actually why my Help the Captain mission is up. I accidentally ran into the base you needed to find for this mission. As I was just looking, I was, I was actually looking for Torellian Outpost, which the there are two areas that I haven't found that are mentioned pretty extensively on the forum, and that's Torellian Outpost and Janus. And I can't find either of them. And it might just be that they're, they've been renamed, or maybe they're, maybe I haven't met the criteria for them to be available yet. But I explored like 90% of the planet, and I can't find the places. So I'm almost wondering if they have patched them out. Uh, I know these are the two areas that eventually Cyrene wants to produce apartments. But other than that, I don't have any information on that, of course, because, well, the developer hasn't released anything. I will say this. The the Cyrene developers are probably the most communicative I have seen, not only for Entropia Universe, but pretty much in video gaming. Like, they've got... So the Cyrene forum is actually an official site. It's not a fan site. At least not insofar as I can tell. And it's they've got an admin... One of the admins is actually one of the developers. And I think that's really cool. That's a, that's really engaged for a software company. I mean, that's really engaged for any company, but especially for a software company. And so I just think it's damned impressive that Cyrene is going that... Um, going that those extra steps. I think the only other group that's as engaged is the Monria group, and they're not a true planet partner by their own admission. Um, I don't know how that relationship works, and I'm not going to even presume to try to understand it. I know it's a different contract, but uh, Monria is kind of a, a unique situation, but they're very engaged as well. But between Cyrene and Monria, these are the two most engaged planet partners with their players, which which is why it kind of makes me sad that the, pl the planets themselves are kind of underappreciated. Um, the community on Cyrene is awesome. I mean, you can see there, there's actually more players out right now than I think I've seen in one place ever. Although that might be because they're doing dailies for the sweat. There, There is a sweat daily you can do. And I'm going to kind of back off and try not to piss off this Panleon because we've got a player out here. I don't like taking sweat targets and that's... There's a, with this many people out here, there's a good opportunity to accidentally steal a kill. 
And so I'm going to try to avoid that. With a knife, it's a lot less likely, but I think that guy was sweating the mob I was attacking, and I don't... That's just, you know, bad form. Of course, some of these glitches don't help. Okay, no, he's, he's attacking that one. Okay, I think I'm avoiding everyone's sweat targets. I did not realize Panleon were that popular a target for sweaters. I'll have to keep that in mind. That being said, it's, it's probably because they don't have a very high... Um, I don't think they have a very high hit ratio relative to other mobs. Like, you don't want to be doing trying to sweat dusters. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. No, it looks like you got they've got some cross pollination going there. Yeah, if you're new to this game and you are sweating, so there's a there's a message in my chat that's you got one player asking another player not to sweat the same mob as them. So I know that in on Calypso, when you're sweating bigger mobs, you usually do so as a circle. It spreads the damage around, everyone gets a chance at some bottles. But when you're sweating low-level mobs, like anything below level 4 or 5, don't don't try circle sweating them, because everyone's going to get like a bottle of sweat. Maybe. And that's not fair to anyone. Because, I mean, the, sweating is a grindy process to begin with. It's probably one of the most thankless jobs you can do in Entropia Universe. It's high time commitment, it's low return. It's necessary, not just for the quests that require sweat, but it's necessary for the economy because there are those who are non-depot and then being able to sweat for money and for the mind force users that use the sweat for mind essence, it's very important. So I'm not, I'm not downing the practice at all. I mean, I went and I sweat 10,000 sweat for the uh, Arcadia Passport, that took me a month. But it's a hard job, so don't make it harder on yourself and don't make it harder on other players who are doing it by being a pain. You know, if, if you see someone sweating a low-level mob, find your own low-level mob. It's just like, uh, again, on Calypso, if you're, if you're sweating level 0 Sabakuma, you don't want someone trying to peel sweat off the same mob because you're taking all the damage and losing out on opportunities and they're getting all the sweat. And, you know, that's just, it's kind of an asshole move, so don't do it. Okay, so... Just making sure I'm not grabbing whoever they're targeting. Can I peel one off? It would almost be better if I was using a gun. But this is the skill I really need to work on, so I'm going to try to continue using the knife. Paint cans. Nice. The other benefit to using the knives is that, you know, when you're low on uh, universal ammo but you have excess ped, it's a good way to replenish your universal ammo. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be slow, but you can do it. Okay, I'm going to back off and let him grab whoever he's grabbing. Okay. Peel one off here. See, that's one thing about this game. A little courtesy goes a really long way here. And I think that's one of the reasons that this game is so cool. is because, in general, the player base is extremely courteous with each other. And in, in a way, you kind of have to be. But it's real easy to screw that up. Because, you're, I mean, your reputation here is everything. And because we're playing with real money... It makes a huge difference. It's like, you're not going to screw someone over in business IRL, so why would you do it here? You never know when the player that you're screwing... You know, if you screw over a player, another player, you never know when you might need them later. You know, a mission might come up, or an opportunity. You might have an opportunity to, to purchase something off them, and they might say, screw you. 
And you know what? You'll have earned it. And by that token, understanding that accidents happen is something you have to keep in mind too. Like there was a there was an incident with a player. I was up on Jura. And I was melee. I had drawn a mob using Bukens. So like one shot. It didn't take very much health off. It was an Aatrox. And I engaged this mob in combat. But the there was a player. Because of the size of the Aatrox. He couldn't see my avatar. And so he started shooting the Aatrox. At about the same time I started hitting the Aatrox with my sword. So all of a sudden the Aatrox de me. And goes running after him. And I go running after the Aatrox. Because you know the the F targeting. You you follow the mob around, and sure as hell, you know I kill the mob. I had I had a loot preference, or I got the loot for it because I had done more damage, and it irritated the other player. And it's like, like, I'm sorry, that didn't mean for that to happen. You started shooting at a mob I had already pulled, and unfortunately, that's I think that's one of the things that Mind Arc should implement is some way to know whether or not. A, a mob has been tagged. I mean, it's a small thing. But it's a small thing that would solve a lot of problems. That wasn't what I wanted to do. So, you know, Mind Arc, if you're watching this, that'd be a really easy thing to fix. I'm. Like 99% sure Mind Arc doesn't watch my videos. Why did I do that? One pan Leon at a time. So yeah. We're doing pretty good here. Right about where we're nearing 30. I think I think we're gonna tap out at 50 just for time's sake. I'm actually I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm, I'm recording this the date of release before work, which, as you all know, doesn't happen very often. But what happened was is I got working on something last night, and I didn't stop until 21.30. Yeah. That's a long day. And so I turned on a, uh, a, a series, and I started watching, and I promptly dozed off, which... Uh, I'm sure it's going to irritate my girl, but I dozed off. I woke up in time to crawl my ass into bed, and I slept actually far too late. My alarm went off, and I turned it off, and I thought I got up, and I thought I was getting ready for work. When my son comes knocking at the door, he's like, Dad, it's 6.30. I'm like, shit. I still have things to do this morning. So... So yeah, I'm just happy I'm going to have a video to put out today, because I forgot about it until this morning, and then I was late. I'm really glad, though, that we can get start to really continue in on this mission chain. I still can't believe how long it took to, to farm up all of those mats. That was just, that was a lot of farming. Now, the benefit to that is that you get a lot of skills doing that. The downside to it is it's really easy to want to give up. But they call it an epic chain for a reason, because it's fucking epic. So just be prepared when you start doing these epic chains that you're going to be putting a lot of work into it. More work than even I expected. And I'm okay with that. But you do have to be prepared for it. kind of marveling at how busy it is out here right now. 
There we go. How's our loot doing? Like, I, 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 we can't count the bone in meat. That doesn't count. I had that. But, so, 5, 11, 12, some pack. So we're probably, we're probably close to breaking even. Because the first knife was 9, and we've got 3 here. So yeah, we've, we've gone through about 12 pack, our ped. And we've got about 12 ped in loot, so that's not bad at all. I gotta say that the loot on these Panleons is damned impressive for their size. I'm really glad that Cyrene... I don't think Cyrene's tax rate is very high. I would be surprised to hear if... I would not be overly surprised to hear if they had a 0% tax rate, but I don't think it's that low. I think it's like 1 or 2. Yeah, enough so that they can make a little bit of money off of it to keep their servers running, but not enough to where it's, it's detrimental to the player base. Um... I know that there's a there's a theory. Lore Spade has this theory, or had this theory at least, and I agree with him, that Calypso's general tax rate is about 10%. And I think that um, the generalized tax rate for Arcadia is about the same. Hello. There we go. Grab a little bit of fruit, a little bonus. Which, I know, it takes, like, an, an absurd amount of fruit to be worth anything, but, hey, it's just there. I'm already, f you know, I'm already f out here hunting, so why not just, you know, grab a little bit of a bonus? Nothing wrong with that. We've got way too many mobs going here. Not that I'm in any super danger, but it's one of those things where it's like, let's not be stupid about this. So I'm gonna just kind of, kind of slowly back off. How's our short blade skill doing? Yeah, see, we've I've already gained like 14 points, or 24 points, 24 points. I can, I can count, honest. Obviously my math is off. 10 to 34 is only 14 points. Now it's 24, Paul. Two crits right in a row. I'll take it. I don't know that you can global on these guys. That would be cool, but I mean, even if you could global, it's going to be like five ped. Which I wouldn't argue with. I would not argue with it. I would be damned happy to get a five ped global off these guys, but I don't know that they're high enough. I don't know that they're strong enough to warrant a global. That being said, their loot is still pretty damn good. Okay, we're gonna kill four more mobs and then we're gonna call it. And then what'll happen is, is my next, I should be able to get all 250 down for the next video on Sunday. I mean, it's, it's not gonna be very much hunting. And you might even see me hunting them in my vlog video on Saturday, but um, with any luck, It'll either be the end of the mission chain, or I'll finish this part of it, and I'll be going into the next part of the mission chain. Not the end of the chain, but the end of this mission, and I'll be going into the next part of the mission chain for the next video. Because of the length of time it took to get to this point, I don't want to drag this out too terribly long. But at the same time, it is an epic mission chain, so I expect there to be an epic number of videos. Not Maybe not as many as We Happy Few had. That was 70 videos. 
I, that was a that was a pretty epic chain of videos. I could have broken that one into seasons. Good gravy. Okay. Oh, that was it. That's okay. I'm not going to waste the ped by not finishing this one off, but that should have been my last one. So we're going to back off the herd here. I'm actually currently writing a short story involving Pan Leon. No, 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 no. Take the loot. Run away. Let's get our sleep near out and hop the wall. There we go. Good grief. You'd never know that I used to fly helicopters, by the way. I fly this sleep near. I do want to know how we did. Because, I mean, this is a pretty easy to control cost hunt. Don't mind me. I'm just landing on your heads. Thank God you're NPCs and not real people. Okay, so let's look at the trade terminals. So we've got... So we went. So let's let's say we started with 18 because I didn't end up using the other two knives, right? So I've got 193 left on this one, and my total has to equal 18 or less, or 18 or more. 1821. 21 peck profit, and we're gonna get the one percent from the ammo. And so, what did we have for repairs? We shouldn't have anything, I don't think. No repairs. 21 peck profit. I'll take it. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to visit my website, mcbainmanor.com, for my blog and some Entropia Universe fiction. And uh, don't forget to check out my sponsor, Critical Links. Link is in the description as well for all of your custom chainmail jewelry needs. Guys, I really appreciate all the support. I'm looking forward to the next one. You all have a wonderful day.